Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo, and today we're playing a game called Inc. And it is developed and published by Zach Bell Games, according to the Steam Store page. Uh, it was released on August 5th, 2015, and Inc. is a fast-paced platformer about using colorful paint to uncover surroundings. Defeat all enemies in the room and reach the goal. However, the terrain is invisible, so you have to discover the terrain by physically bumping into it or performing a double jump or, well, dying. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how good this game was. I was looking at it thinking it was going to be one of those 99 cent kind of games that is trying to market itself as a $5 game. And I got started playing and I was like, whoa, there's actually a lot to this. So I'm going to start at level 1. So I played through the game a little bit just to make sure I knew what I was doing. So uh, left and right moves. You can play with a keyboard. I'm playing with an Xbox controller. And as you rub against the, um, the invisible platforms, you actually paint them colors. So I can jump around and do all kinds of stuff. Double jump throws some paint around so I can figure out where everything is. Looks like I'm in. I'm trapped in a room, so there's no way I can get out but to run through that door. The shiny doorway is where we need to get to. So this, if I run to the right, I'm going to fall. Nope, I'm not. If I run to the right, I'm going to fall. There we go. So there's actually no platform there, so I need to look and try to make sure I can see where I need to go. And I can use uh, a, a double jump, so I can jump and then double jump and land on the other side. Uh, tutorial text regarding wall jump. Apparently that tutorial text needs to be replaced. <laughs> but we get where they're going. Just uh, jump against the wall and you can get up to the top and then you jump down. That's what that tutorial te text needs to say and that's what it will say eventually. Okay, no more tutorial text. So we can splat around and find the exit. I'm going to start going faster now because I pretty much know how to solve some of these pretty quickly. Oh. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> got, got going a little too fast there. We know there's one there. No, there's one there. And there's got to be one right underneath the door. Okay. Uh-oh. So this game makes me think of like a um, really neat, really creative, like Super Meat Boy style game. There's not there's not meat pieces flying everywhere. It's just ink. And I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm much more comfortable with that than meat pieces. Or ketchup or whatever that was in that crazy game. So here's your enemies. You have to jump on top of them. If I run into them, splat, I die. But if I jump on top of them, I win. And then I can't actually exit the stage until I beat the enemy. So that comes first. You notice the door on the right is not highlighting until I blow up these guys. So blow them up, blow them up. Ta-da! Boop! 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 Now, the controls are a little bit slippery. They're not like... I, and I don't want to say slippery, what I mean is like there, there's physics to it. There's actually inertia and everything. There's inertia pulling you in the direction where you push yourself. And so you can't turn on a dime. And so slippery is the wrong word. It actually respects inertia. And so because of that, the game is actually a lot more challenging than you would think it would be. If I could turn on a dime, I wouldn't have any trouble with a lot of these areas. But because I have to plan where I'm moving next, that's a hole down there. Because um, I have to plan where I'm moving next, I need to take care of the inertia in the whole equation. Oh, 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 oh! Careful, careful. If I die, I have to start over the level, so I can't die. Unless you want me to, want me to have to go through these guys again. There we go. All right, what, what do we got here? Oh, oh. My controller also has a little bit of weirdness where it will double jump by mistake. So you'll see me sometimes double jump right off the bat. And I don't mean to do that. It's just my controller. Uh, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotta go up, it looks like. Careful. Don't want to hit the side there. The plus side is, even if you die, you still end up with um, everything painted. 
so you can still continue where you left off. There we go. Just the monsters will come back. And by monsters, I mean glowing cubes. That's this game's idea of monsters, which I actually appreciate. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Go back. Back, back. Got it. Nailed it. Let's get to the left. Oh, no. My controller is running out of batteries. That is not a good sign. I may have to continue uh, this game using the keyboard if that dies. And that will not be pretty because I'm horrible with the keyboard. I tried. And I failed. Okay. Whoop. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. All right. Hello, middle of nowhere. Looks like we're going this way. What's up here? Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. Did that double jump off the, off the bat thing, and it did not go well. Oh did not. That was not good. When in doubt, blame the controller. It's the controller. It's dying. The batteries are bad. It's, it's messed up. It double jumps. It's not my fault. Make excuses, and they have to be all about the controller. Um, okay, this looks doable. Boink. Boink. Whoa. Boink. Boink. Oh, see, it did it again. Double jump right off the bat. I feel like I'm in some kind of crazy, you know, modern art exhibit when I'm playing this game. By the way, art. Let's talk about art for a second. What in the world happened? Can we just can we just talk about what happened? I'm so confused. It's like it's. It used to be people would paint pretty pictures of people and landscapes. And people and landscapes and events and things like that. And the pictures would mean something. And everybody would pretty much agree that, oh, this is about that. Or this person has that kind of thing. And I mean, even the Mona Lisa. It was a person. I could look at that person and go, hmm. She looks like puh. Like whatever, you know. But now... You got this modern art stuff, and it's like, what am I even looking at? And I'll, you'll go in, and it'll be like, oh, I can't believe I did that. You go in, and it'll be like, okay, well, this is a bronze um, depiction of a garbage can holding a pizza box made of scrap metal, and it, it's intended to um, to demonstrate man's loneliness in the universe. I can't believe I did that again. And, and here's, here's the thing that bugs me, is that you voice your opinion that this modern art stuff is just silliness and it doesn't actually mean anything, it's not, not any good. You say things like that and, oh, you're, you're, just, you're just not classy enough to understand the beauty of the modern art movement. And it's like, you know, you know what it is? Is, you remember the story the, uh, about the emperor's new clothes? It was, it was, uh, I'm sure you guys know it, but basically, if you don't know, if not not familiar with it, it is, you know, everyone, um, uh, these, these two con artists, I think, had, uh, convinced the king, convinced everyone that there were, they could make the best clothes, but the clothes were awesome, they were the best clothes ever, but no one could, s the only people that could see them were the really cultured people. And if you couldn't see them, it means you weren't classy. And it, you weren't, you weren't, you know, good people, basically. And I've, I've, I've heard different variations of it, but that's the basic gist of it that I understand. Um, and so the idea was that if you didn't see it, there was something wrong with you, basically. And so people, no one could actually see it. They actually didn't make any clothes. They had the emperor go out without any clothes on whatsoever. And then no one would admit that they couldn't see the clothes because that would have said that they were... Uh, that would have confirmed that they were not classy or not, you know, with it. And so no one said anything, and so everybody just pretended to see the clothes. And that's kind of, that's how the modern art movement makes me feel. I walk in, and I, I, I feel like if I go to those exhibits, I have to look at them as, if I don't look at them as something cultured and something awesome, 
then I get looked down upon by people who think they're awesome and think they're cultured, you know, the, the modern art pieces. That bugs me a little bit. I'm sure there's, peop there's people um, who are into the modern art phase that will disagree with my assessment here, but that's, that's the feeling I get from it. Maybe it's the wrong feeling. I don't know. Oh, boss monster. Boss monster down. Oh, boss monster floating. Aha. I've already... Uh, 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 this, this is the first boss in the game, so it's pretty, pretty easy to figure out. Just avoid and pounce. And I'm glowing because I am an awesome white square. This game is awesome. You see, you see, the white symbolizes man's loneliness, and the red symbolizes man's struggle against loneliness. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we got we got spikes now. Uh, that's what you're seeing on the sides. And that's what will kill you if you touch them. So do not touch them. They are bad. That's why they are spikes. Oh no, there's spikes there. Gotta go up this way. Yoink. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's get some color over here. Oh, I totally add that. We're turning this into a modern art exhibit right now. Oh, nope. No, there was a time not long ago where I was actually good at video games. That time is not now. That time has passed. There we go. All right, monster. I see a monster. I see spikes of death. Oh, nope. That was too far. Seriously, spikes on the top, too. What do you want from me, game? What do you want from me? Oh, this is going to be a tough one. I actually have to beat the monsters and not die from the spikes. Okay. Okay. What's up here? Nothing. Okay, gotta go down. Oh, I had it! Viewers will correct me. I did not, in fact, have it. I, I was very, very far from having it. Aha, I got it that time. Okay, I don't see anything. I see spikes now. Let's scooch to the edge here. I'd rather not die if I can avoid it. I, I, I am a white square that wants to live. Nope, that's not the way to live. Oh my, that is a lot of things down there. Let's go the opposite direction now. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. How in the world? I have to jump up that thing without touching the spikes. The developer of this game must hate me. It must absolutely hate me. Is there a way to come up in the middle? Hey, there's a heart up there. What's that all about? What, what is that all about up there? Is that... Well, now I'll never know. Why is there a heart there? Is that a super awesome special power up? Apparently it's not because I can't reach it. Is, are we sure there's nothing over there? I guess not. How am I gonna get up here? This is gonna be this is gonna be so difficult. Okay. Oh, 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 apparently not difficult. Apparently, apparently I totally got this. Apparently I totally got this. Okay. Whew, this little white square is tired. You got you. Oh no! <laughs> got you. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh! Got 
to okay to try this again. Oh no 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 no! Try this for a fourth time, or however many times we've done this. I don't know. Maybe if I slow down instead of trying to be super white square ninja. Ah no! I'm telling you the inertia in this game is a lot harder than you would think it would be. Okay, got him, got him, got him. We can do this. I believe in myself. I am the cube! Okay. We made it. Sweet. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, that is diabolical. Moving platforms now? Really? What's up with that, developer? What's up with that? Trying to be all creative? Is that what you're trying to do? Give us a time limit? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, you're doing it. You're definitely doing it. Wow, that really encourages you to work a little faster, doesn't it? Oh, 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 whoa. Okay, here's another wall. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I lived. I'm okay. I'm alive. As alive as a white square can be. Whoa, there's spikes there. Just saw it the last second and didn't get a chance to dodge in time. Oops. Oh, I see a blue heart. Can I get that blue heart? Let's have a heart to heart. Hey, got the heart. I don't know what it did. I don't know. It, it went away. So I gotta actually live. I gotta live after I get that heart. Nope. Is there anything down here? Nope. There's nothing down there. Okay. I don't quite understand where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yes, who's the cube? Who's the cube? I'm the cube. Am I a cube or am I a square? I, I think I'm still a square. I, I, there's no th third dimension in here. And by the way, oh. Sigh. Let's just get to the end of this level real quick. We'll come back for the heart later. Oh no! I'm getting too much in a hurry. I am invincible. I am the white square. Two dimensions, three dimensions. By the way, that is a cool thing to think about. If you ever get get time, you know, spare time in your day, start thinking of everything in, in three dimensions and put it into two dimensions. It's really cool. Like, if if you if you think of yourself, well, let's let's start over. Hold on. You can't visualize the fourth dimension, right? If you can, please comment below because that would be awesome of you to help us visualize what that looks like. But I can't do that. So, I mean, you can kind of sort of draw it, but when you try to draw the fourth dimension, you end up having to draw it in the third dimension. And that's just not fair, because it doesn't look right. It just doesn't. Because it's, it's wrong. It'd be like trying to draw a sphere or a square in two dimensions. I mean, you can do it, but it's really in, in, in two dimensions, and it just looks like it's in three dimensions. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with fourth dimensional objects. You try to draw them in three dimensions, it still looks wrong. So, one thing I like to do, for funsies, is visualize the three-dimensional world in two dimensions. Now it's shooting things at us. Great. Visualize the three-dimensional world in two dimensions. And then visualize the two-dimensional world in one dimension. And then once you do that, you can visualize the fourth dimension as a three-dimensional uh, world. And then you can kind of visualize what that would look like. It's really neat. So, like, I'll give you an example. I can't believe I'm actually talking about this while playing this game. It's kind of weird. By the way, this game is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun. Look at all those all those colors flying around everywhere. So let's get up here. Oh, I had it. I totally had it. Okay, focus time. Enough dimensional talk. I'll come back to that in a minute. Gotta pay attention. 
Okay. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. If I just time this properly, it will work. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, got it. That was actually harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so dimensional thinking. So if you take a three-dimensional... If you take a two-dimensional world on paper, a current two-dimensional world, let's say you gave life to people on paper. We do that all the time. But draw like a stick figure or something. And that's a two-dimensional guy. And he's looking sideways. He sees a flat plane. And um, so if you take your finger and place your finger on the piece of paper, he doesn't see your finger because he can only see in two dimensions. He wouldn't be able to comprehend or visualize a three-dimensional object, correct? Correct, correct? I think? Yes, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to. He, just like we can't comprehend a fourth-dimensional object. So take that. Take that finger you placed on the pencil on the uh, piece, piece of paper and and draw a a circle around it. Instead of a, it's not a sphere, it's not a cylinder, it's not anything. It's a circle. That's what a two-dimensional person would see if you put your finger on their world. There's the platform I needed, and so they're gonna see a circle. This is really hard to talk about deep stuff while you're trying to play this game. It's so hard. They'll see a circle, but they won't see a circle entirely. Just like if you look at a sphere, you don't see the entire sphere at the same time. They will see one side. Well, there's not really a side on the circle, but you know, you get what I'm saying. They'll see their viewpoint of the circle. They won't see the entire circle simultaneously. They'd have to go around the circle in order to see all of the circle. This is actually going to be really tough. Wowza. Okay, I lived. Um, so they, they're going to see um, just part of a circle. And so if you can take that, extrapolate that, you can presume that if a three-dimensional be oh, oh, excuse me, a four-dimensional being came into our universe and put his finger in our three-dimensional world, and he pressed down just like you pressed your finger on the piece of paper, in the fourth dimensional world, if he put his finger into our three dimensional world and pressed down, we wouldn't see his finger because we wouldn't be able to comprehend a fourth dimensional finger. We would see a sphere, but we wouldn't see the entire sphere. We would only see the side of the sphere that we can see. So you'd see a ball floating there. Now, if he stuck his finger through the piece of paper, you would see the sphere changing because you'd see different parts of his finger at different times, but you wouldn't be able to see You'd only be able to see one part of his finger at any one time. Just like if you put your finger through a piece of paper. Seriously? I can't get through that hole? Okay, let's wait. Just like if you put your finger through a piece of paper, you would not be able... This is going to be tough. You would not be able to see... Um, they would only be able to see one part of your finger at once. And now I'm going to stop talking about dimensional philosophy and focus on getting through this level. It is really hard to fit through that hole. Seriously, that is like that is like raid boss style difficulty. I cannot get that last jump right. There we go, got it. Whew. And there's a lot more I can talk about dimensional stuff. I get really into talking about that kind of stuff. It's really really right up my alley um, so yeah can't really talk about it properly in a game like this though so I'm gonna leave that topic for later back to the game this game is awesome uh oh we forgot this one down here Yoink. that was a much easier level I don't like jumping through those spikes I have no trouble jumping on monsters uh, whoop whoop Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. And this game pretty much doesn't have an ending. As, well, I mean, obviously it has an ending, but 
Uh, it's not like it's going to stop and say, okay, now we can save, and now you can continue. And, okay, now we're through with a major plot point. It's just going to it's con continuously take us to the next level. So at some point, I just have to say that this is the last level that we're going to play. And so I'm going to go ahead and say this is the last level we're going to play. And I hope you enjoyed this game. I have been the white square on your screen talking about weird dimensional subjects in modern art. I don't know how I got into all those subjects all in this game. Um, this has been Ink. Uh, it is by Zach Bell Games. You can find out information about it in the description below. Feel free to check down there for links to their official website and to their um, Steam store page. I will also include their Twitter handle because they like to tweet and you may want to follow them. So, yeah. Um, check them out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Let me know if you want to hear more about three-dimensional, four-dimensional, two-dimensional philosophy, or if you want to talk about modern art, or perhaps if you want me to just shut up and talk about the video games, which is probably what most people are going to say, and that's okay. So, thanks again, and remember, keep it clean.